Well, everyone, today we are going to solve a very beautiful question uh, related to kinematics. So, the question goes like this. We have a railway and we have a train going on it. And the question asks us, if this train has the velocity of V, that doesn't change with time, so I will not make it a function of time, and it whistles for T seconds. Big T, let us say, and the velocity of the sound is given by C, which is uh, generally is the speed of light, but we will use it as the, uh, let us say, speed of sound in this question. And let us say we have an individual waiting right here along the road, there's a distance between them. And that distance is given by d. The question asks if the train whistles for t seconds, how much, how many seconds does this person hear the sound? Let us call that answer t prime. What is this? So, how can we approach to this question? Uh, is actually very basic. Uh, we will not use Doppler effect or anything related. We are going to use basic kinematic equations, uh, uh, of course, and uh, the question provides us with the information that the train will not reach to the person at the end of this uh, mission. Let us start calculating. So, let us call the moment T1, the moment, the moment, the individual, Here's the siren, right? Here's the whistle. So, okay. And let us say T2, the end of the whistle. End of the whistle. Of course, these are time reaching to our individual. Reaching to, let us call him A. Right. So then we can move to solve this question. We know that the whistle coming out uh, right at the T1, T0, let us call T0 as 0, from T0 will move along this road. So it will take T1 equals T over C. Right. This is the distance the sound has to travel, and this is the velocity of the sound, uh, or the magnitude of the velocity. And that gives us the T1, the reaching uh, moment of the whistle, starting point of whistle. But then, for T seconds, big T, the train moves along, right? V times T. So the distance covered, the distance remaining, or uh, if you please, the distance remaining will be T minus V times big T, right? Because uh, the train moves uh, when uh, all the, the whistle goes on. So the train goes on too, and the distance covered will be V times T at that uh, duration. So let us calculate how many seconds does uh, the end of the whistle has to take to reach the person's ear. Let us call that <coughs> T2, the reaching moment, right? T2 will be T plus, because uh, for T seconds the whistle uh, went on, right? So the remaining time will be the reaching uh, between this point and this point in time. So that will be D minus V times T over C, because the sound travels. So if we, <coughs> if we are to calculate the duration for the person. So we have to subtract d1 from d2, right? Because uh, that will give us t prime. Because the end point and starting point of the whistle according to the person. So let us calculate that. It's an easy calculation. It's a very beautiful question. I like this question. t plus d minus vt over c minus d over c which provides us with this c times t minus v times t 
over c, which is basically t times c minus b over c. If you uh, look at this expression, the answer, it's a coefficient for t, right? Uh, so let us give some numbers and try to solve the question like that. So let us call <coughs> C the magnitude of uh, sound uh, speed of sound 330 meters per second and let us call V 30 meters per second and uh, As you see in the answer we do not need B and in The question although I have given D to you we did not require it in the answer. So let us put this here and let us uh, give 3 seconds for t. Right? So let us write the answer. 3 times 330 minus 30 over 330 which will give us uh, 300 times 3 over 330 and that is uh, almost 2072 blah 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 so it is shorter than uh, the actual duration why is that because the sound waves are coming ahead of the train and uh, there is an event called doppler effect actually doppler effect can be calculated from this kind of questions this kind of problems so this is a nice question i hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next video